Thank you, Catherine. I'm sure you well, you're going to be nice and busy between now and Sunday evening. So it's uh, I guess it's a rare opportunity for us to catch up with you. Ah, uh, yes, Catherine's coming Catherine. back for Dave Penny at uh, 10.30. So here we are. This looks like we are up at... Yes, this is the Col de Petit Saint Bernard. So we have the leaders and uh, here. So that is likely to be the... Um, that's, um, I think that's Michael Lani. Okay. So... Uh, From uh, France, as I recall. We'll yep. So it, it is Michael Land. So he's made a charge there. So he's taken Team Salomon from France. Uh, so Michael is the first, Michelle, excuse me, Michelle is the first runner into and out of the aid station at um, Col de Petit Saint Bernard. And um, six z zero. So the second. Oh, we've got quite a few runners that have come through this checkpoint now, actually. This is Pablo Manuel Villa Gonzalez, is who we're following right here. Yeah. Uh, number 6003. He's uh, refilling his uh, bottles, these uh, flexible flasks that uh, fit comfortably in the chest pockets of the packs. A new innovation since these races started. Uh, those didn't even exist uh, back in 2003, and now they're a very popular item. Very popular way to carry fluids. And so boom, boom, boom. He's up and off. So we've got three runners into Col de Petit Saint Bernard. They are going to be descending now. So it's about. As, as, as far as our track is going, it's like a one-hour descent, 1,300 meters of descent uh, coming up now. So you can see the ba that backpack looks like he's got um, almost like a quiver uh, in the back of the pack to hold the, the running poles, and that's where they're going to stay, it looks like, with that particular runner. But um, Yeah, big downhill ahead. Uh, that's the style some use, is just to put those poles away yep. and uh, keep the hands free to to get at their flasks uh, and food if they need it along the way. And here, I guess, the, the building kind of gives it away. I think this is kind of around the ski area of La Tuile. And um, normally you have a, an amazing view of the Mont Blanc from that area. It's one of the best views, actually, that you get. Uh, so, yeah, you can ski the, see the, the lift there in the background sure as well. Um, but I think the cloud cover is starting to come in. There we go, there's the next runner into the aid station. So as the race moves on, they spend a little bit more time kind of reloading, so we normally get to see what's going on. Yeah, and he's uh, taking a drink there with a little uh, electrolyte in it, uh, looks like, and grazing a little bit on the fresh cut fruit and, and uh, salty foods. And now, boom, out the, out the sideway and on to the next place. Headed out to Burg St. Maurice. So, yep, so that was, um, we've now had five runners through there. So we've, Daniel Jung and uh, Sylvan uh, Camus have also come into the aid station now. This is... Um, I mentioned earlier the long distance between the aid stations. The last aid station where they were able to get water was uh, at the La Cambelle aid station. So yep. that was at um, about kilometer 15. We're now at kilometer 36. So the, the runners have gone about 20 kilometers uh, without, and that's why they need to stop and yep. ref, refuel, re get water. They have a good distance down you do not want to arrive yeah um, so that's uh that's sylvan camus he's fifth place uh, coming out of the a station there they've got one hour now from here all the way down to borg saint maurice and uh, as katrine was saying straight out of borg saint maurice they've just got a small bit of two thousand meters worth of uh, climbing to be done so um the the hard work is still ahead of these guys 
So they've, um, as they arrive here in Col de Petit Saint Bernard, they've um, completed two and a half thousand meters of positive uh, elevation um, of the 7,200 meters that they will actually uh, be ticking off today. But yeah, Michel Lan uh, is now is in the lead. So we have France, Spain, France, Italy, and France. So there's a good little mixture at the front there. So um, we can actually give uh, you a position on Marco in terms of his ranking into Colden Petit Saint Bernard. So he's outside the uh, the top 30. Um, but we can have a play. Oh, here comes one of the women. This was the this is, this second is me. woman. No, I think this is the first woman. This is Mimi. Okay. So, um, yeah, so Marco is actually 30th runner into there. And then Mimi is the first female athlete into to the checkpoint. Mimi is 32nd overall in the scratch, um, but is, is quite clearly... Um, Building up quite a strong lead there now in the in the the female race. He's just kind of sorting her poles out. So trying to follow some of the uh, interesting stories that are going on uh, inside the UTMB. So our first, our second visitor, because we've already had the royal visit of Catherine Paletti this morning. Our second visit uh, into the uh, into, into the studio today is uh, one of the runners who's going to be. Uh, uh, doing the UTMB, uh, not necessarily one of the elite runners, but again, in a different way, we have uh, somebody who's got uh, their own individual story. So a big welcome to Dave Penn from the Archive. Woohoo! Yeah, the Archive. <laughs> yeah. And for those of us in the um, uh, United States, you may not know, Archive is a band, um, uh, a band in the UK. Well, let's let let's Dave give us, Dave, come on, Dave, introduce what, what? the Archive to those people out there who maybe need to go on Spotify now and sign well, up for Archive. Well, yeah, this, with Archive, it's, it's been going for a very long time, almost 20 years, so, um, and I've been in the band almost 15 years, not too far right. off. And yeah, we're from the UK, but we have a very, very big following in France, um, which is, I think, part of the reason why I'm here, really. Um, yeah, and many fans across Europe, uh, we've not crossed the pond yet to the States, but we do have fans over there, so... Yeah, we're, a, we're kind of, you know, like a, a bit of a family, really. An international race, and there are people from all over the world watching, and we want to hear from you. And um, how is it that you got interested in the UTMB? Well, it kind of stems back about three years. I was um, doing a charity walk for a, a youth charity called Trex, Trexdoc, which is a charity for young people with cancer and right. also encouraging healthy lifestyles for right. young people. Are you, have you already considered how you're going to try and help yourself in that second night because that's the, that's the, that's for me personally and talking to so many runners that is if you can make it through the second night then yeah, yeah. I've just sort of I know when I start off I kind of I think like every runner you get into your own zones and things like that and you kind of have a go into a meditative state in a way yeah. you know of like a, a sort of trance like thing and I'm really yeah I'm just going to take each step as it comes and if I'm if I have a, any kind of power nap at any point I think I would definitely do that but I don't know if I'll even be in that bracket where I have you know hopefully I could afford to have a little tiny little 10 minutes here and there but um I've just got to see how it goes you know yeah. really and feel listen to my body and are you, um, hang on to someone else are, you, are your family gonna, is anyone are they going to make it out onto the course to see you yeah right. I've also got a, um, a really good friend of mine uh, Mike who's the other half of Bird Pen so right. Mike Bird he's travelling out on Friday and um, him and my wife are going to get to some of the uh, the checkpoints where I can have uh, support there, because be those really are nice. the kind of things that you know when you're having a tough time because you, you, you have a tough time as well as a good time so yeah uh, have it, if people are, have made an effort to come out and support you, then when you're having a tough time, those can be a little right. If I'm going to keep going to see those guys as much as doing Definitely. it for yourself.